Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike We Play video. My name is Adam and I'm joined by Taryn. Hey buddy, um, we're continuing our direct fire energy weapons. Yes, and we're bringing out the big guns now. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I tell him or should you tell him? No, you tell him. Buddy. All right. You can build up the suspense better PPCs. than I can. PCs. Particle projection cannons. If you like your guns that make you feel like Zeus, that shoots <laughs> bolts of lightning and stuff, this is the gun you want. <laughs> you want multiples of them. You got, yeah, you got a lot of choice as to what sort of PPC you want to use as well. I mean, that's why this is going to be a separate thing. We did lasers before. Hopefully you've you've watched that one. If you haven't, it, it'll be it'll, down it'll there be, somewhere. Yeah, we'll have a link somewhere. Um, but yeah, PPCs come in a variety of shapes and sizes, apparently. Mm. But it is generally considered one of the biggest energy weapons that you can mount onto a mech. Mm. Good range, good damage, but very heat. Heat very intensive. Heat intensive. It's hungry. Um, yeah. And yeah, we 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 had a uh, I think we had a comment ages ago about PPCs, and yes, there are a lot of varieties of PPCs, and yes, we are going to go into as many of them as we can find mm. right now. So let's let's start with the inner sphere level of technology, and we'll yep. start with the very first PPC, the PPC, PPC. Yep. Oh, let's get our little table up. Bing. And this this gun made the awesome mech quite famous. It made it awesome. Yeah, it did. It, it is what made it awesome. awesome. That's true. But it also made a lot of other mechs very, very dangerous at some really seriously long ranges. Mm. Um, I remember things like uh, I think one of the Battlemaster variants had a had a PPC on it. Yes, it's got it in the main box. Yep. Uh, the Griffin, I think, had one. Yes. And there's, there's a few other that, ones that, that just really could seriously ruin your day if they got a, a good dice roll, mm. because that 10 points was huge. Um, and by that we mean there's 10 points of heat, but there's also 10 points of damage. damage. Now, unfortunately with these, we were mentioning in the uh, direct fire laser ones that, that they don't have a minimum range. The PPCs for the inner sphere do have a minimum range, yeah. and it is three. Um, so if you are at three or less range, you will start having a penalty based on how close you are. Yeah. Um, it's a little complicated. It's not supremely complicated. Basically, I just count it back. But, um, it means that if you get too close to people, your weapon becomes less effective. Okay. So you, you have to bear that in mind. Mm. Um, but from one to six, you're at short range, seven to 12, you're at medium range, and 13 out to a whopping 18, you are at long range. Yeah. Um, so for an, a non-ER energy-based weapon, that's a decent range. 18. And yeah, I will continue to do this, but comparing it to LRMs, you've got uh, an 18 versus a 21. So I think that's kind of a balancer as well, is your awesome can get if you can get close enough, direct fire, single massive hits of damage yeah. are almost always better than clusters of, of non-known variable amounts of damage. Yeah. Um, so LRMs are cool. LRMs are awesome. LRMs indirect are the bomb. But if you can hit him in the face with a PPC, you're basically going to take his head off. So <laughs> you do the math. And even if you don't, like a head, it's got a maximum of nine armor, so you're going internal. So you are going a, internal. A juicy pilot in there. Yeah. And like I say, missile boats and things that operate at long range with missile weapons or even with auto cannon weapons, which we'll get into later, they very often have fairly light armor. So 10 points, solid damage straight to one location mm. can ruin your day. Yeah. Yeah. And Things like an awesome where they've got two of them, that's 20 points of damage if you hit with both, and yeah. bang, bang, you've got yeah, dual awesome. piloting check to fall over. But you know what, Taryn? I think I want my PPC to shoot further. <laughs> I think we can do it. I think it has been done. The Star League did it. Yep. The ER. The PPC. ER. And I'm not happy with it <laughs> because it takes all of the ranges and basically adds one or two to them, but it ends out 
at um, 23 instead of 18 mm. as your maximum long range. And that's just rude because I can't shoot you back with my missiles from there. <laughs> yeah. It's not nice to yeah. do it. 20, 23 is very generous. Yeah. But very unfortunately, it, um, it generates extra heat to gain that extra range. So yeah. instead of 10 heat, you're generating 15. Yeah, that's a lot. And that is... I mean, if you don't add extra heat sinks to your mech, you are overheating. Mm. And not just like... The awesome, you can kind of synchronize your shots and you can maybe get one, two, or three on the heat scale. If you don't synchronize your shots perfectly, if you haven't got extra heat sinks, that five gets you an automatic minus one movement point. Yeah, so you're, if you've you're got standard 10. If you've got your standard 10 and there's standard heat sinks, you are generating 15 points of heat. So you will go five over and you will end up with an automatic minus one movement point. Yeah just by firing that one weapon, not anything else. So check your heat sinks. So a classic example of that would be the Scorpion, which is a 40 or 45 ton. Yes, horse. we've mentioned him before, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, so he has a PPC as his main weapon, and I think an SRM-6 as a secondary. Backup, yeah. But just 10 standard heat sinks, which is not so bad, all right? but. When the new technology started coming in, all the designers did was they got a bulk lot of VR PPCs at a good price or something, and they whacked them on there yeah. and sent them out in the field. But they, yeah, it, they just the overheat. Heat, yeah, the heat issue was was a bit of a problem. I mean, you 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 go from a five to an eight, so your next actual modifier is in an eight. So if you run and fire that weapon then you are only one point short of getting a target modifier as well. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's only in one round. If you continue that on, if you fire that weapon more in a subsequent round as well, yeah. you will have serious heat problems. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, it is. So it was, I mean, it seemed like a good idea at the time for them <laughs> to put it on the Scorpion because they had them. But, but yeah, I can I, imagine I, that was yeah. a problem. I think I think I mentioned this when we discussed it before. I can see why, but I wouldn't bloody do it. No, I would. I wouldn't take him. No, no. no. If you had double heat sinks, that's all right. But with single, yeah. mm -mm. No. no. That right. that extra like, what is it? Three, five, yeah, five, five extra hexes of range. I honestly don't know if I was building a mech like. As we have, if I was building one, I don't think I would value that five hexes of range more than five points of heat generation. Because it depends who you're playing against, mate. Those well, there clans, is that. they've got yeah. that range, so. But, you know, if they're clan and you're playing a campaign and you just salvage their PPCs and you use them Ooh, against them, hello. that's the way to do it. Yeah, indeed. Um, uh, well, I mean. But there are, there are some other variants. Yeah, you know, we've, other we've had a PPC that PPC. shoots further. How about we, we get one that shoots harder? That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that too. Uh, <laughs> so the heavy PPC. Oh, yeah. The heavy PPC, again, generates five extra points of heat, which is not really that good. But it generates five extra points of damage nice. as well. And that's what we're talking nice. about. Nice. 15 to one location. To one location. It's still got exactly the same range as a normal PPC, same minimum range, same maximums, um, but it generates five extra points of heat and five extra points of damage. And that to me is possibly worth it. If you have something with double heat sinks and you've got some of them in the legs and that sort of stuff and you can manage it, then five extra points of heat for five extra points of damage that is that's good. That is better. Yeah. Right. Five extra hexes of range, I'm not too fussed on. Right. But that extra damage, boom, do it. Could be good in a city. Mm. Or, yep. Yeah. But even for like, um, so you've got say a canyon thing, or yeah, no, like you say, a city. If you can get that mech. Like put them in sort of a, a reasonably heavy type mech, nothing too big. Um, put one or two of them in there that you can actually fire fairly consistently and get him somewhere high where he can see a lot of the area. Yeah. And just blam, blam. Yeah. And then duck down and then blam, blam. 
a lot of damage and yeah, yeah. I mean there's long streets in the city and things like that. We'll yeah. Get out, take a pot shot. And 15 points of damage is just, whoa. Slowly. I mean, you are wiping your head off. You are killing most um, torso sections on light and even some medium mechs. Yeah. You're either killing it or you're going internal. You hit a head, it's dead, because the max you can have on a head is 12. So nine external and three internal is the max you can have on a head. So that's what they refer to as a head chopper weapon, <laughs> which is a legit thing. It's actually in your tech manual and things like that. So it talks about any weapon that is considered a head chopper. So anything that does at least 12 points of damage in one hit will have extra points added to it for your BB when you go to mount them. So, wow. so just keep that in mind as well. That's right. I did but not know that. It. But I did it is, not know that. It's worth it. That's, oh, it's dead set good. worth it. Yeah. If you can get that double six, the, the, the battle of that mech is out. It's, it's He's done. out. It's He's done. all over. Yeah. That's cool. Now, I think the NSV also has a, a light version of the PPC as well. Why? Yes, they do. <laughs> so it's only five heat. Which is cool. That's half the heat of a normal that's right. um, PPC. That's that's groovy. But it only does five points of damage, right. which is half. Five, five. That's fine. It's got the same ranges, um, but what you're probably looking at here, an eighteen max range. Yeah. So same same eighteen max range. So it's only doing medium laser damage, but it's doing it out to eighteen. Eighteen. That's quite nice. Um, and what you've got. If I can find it here. Yes, so light PPC. So your normal PPC is seven tons and three critical spaces. Yeah, so it's pretty generous. That's, that's, that's not too bad. Your ER PPC is exactly the same. Okay, so the technology to make it shoot further was recovered or whatever it was, and it, it just generates extra heat. It doesn't really take any extra it's bits and pieces. The lens cap off it. Yeah, or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's like one of those shower heads that's got the little limiter thing. You, know, you yeah. just take that out and it goes... Um, 1.21 gigawatts. Yes, do it. Gigawatts or whatever. I go gigawatt. Um, so the heavy PPC, instead of a 7 and a 3, is 10 tons and 4 critical spaces. Four, 10 tons. Yeah, so that is that's a big investment. That is a big investment. It's still a lot of damage. It's still a lot of damage. It's also a lot of heat. So that one is really not... That's not something you put in your mech lightly. That, ha ha. Uh, that's not something you put in your mech lightly. Hey, we'll get another subscriber. I did uh, you did, Your jokes, man. Really Boom. Boom. <laughs> um, so the advantage... <laughs> the advantage of the light PPC, although it does... I mean, the less heat is good, but it does less damage. But the advantage is... It's only three tons and two critical spaces. Three tons. So it's doing medium laser damage, but it's doing it at double the range, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so the medium laser has a max of nine, whereas this light PPC has a max of 18. So your max range has doubled, right? But it costs you two extra... Two extra tons and one extra critical space. You know, that's a pretty good substitute for some of those auto cannons that yes. have a similar range. Yes. But they auto cannons are generally a lot heavier. Yep, and they're also reliant on ammo, ammo. which also takes weight and space. Yeah. So yeah, you Ooh, are five damage at eighteen. Wow. Yeah, we'll get into auto cannons at some point, but yes, that is a significant weight and um, space saving on uh, on an auto cannon of the same type, and it's the same range, same damage, more heat. Obviously, that's the the downside to energy weapons is you are generating heat with everything you do. I wonder how awesome and awesome would be with those. Well, let's see. You've got three PPCs normally on an awesome, right? Yep. So there's so seven that's, tons each. Yeah, there's seven tons each, so that's 21 tons. So you could fit seven light PPCs on the same awesome. If you if, if all you do is take out the three PPCs that are on an awesome and replace them with light PPCs, 
you can fit seven light PPCs where you had those. And uh, instead of 30, you're doing 35 total damage. Yeah, but your heat as well would be a lot Your better. heat is lower. Your critical spaces are lower. Well, the, it'll go over because you've actually got more, but you've got plenty of space and an awesome, trust me, oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, so you, I, I think, and you've also got the advantage of you are doing those points of damage but you're splitting them up. So you've got seven different rolls, seven different hit rolls, seven different location rolls. Yeah. And the more dice you roll, the more chance you have of getting something good to happen. Yeah. Oops, so. For normal people. <laughs> I, qu I qualify everything <laughs> like that. Just assume I've said for normal people. So you haven't got that, that oomph behind it, but I tell you no. what, if you're, if you're constantly under fire, Say so three turns of being hit by that, your your armor is going to get shredded. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, with the normal PPCs, you're doing um, ten heat, and I think if you fire all three of them, you generate. I think you generate like four points of heat or something. I can't remember. Mm. I think it's something like that. So uh, instead of thirty points of heat that you're generating, you're generating again thirty five points of heat. So firing all three PPCs actually generates less heat than firing all seven of the light PPCs. Yeah. But you're probably not going to overheat by too much and you can go down to a firing pattern that will drop that heat drastically. Yeah, true. And you need to hit with two out of the three. So generally speaking, with an awesome, you'd be firing two PPCs at a time, 90% of the time. Yeah. All right? It's just... The way to do it with the light PPCs, if if you're like with those PPCs, you have to hit with both to get them to do a critical a uh, piloting skill. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. You have to hit with both. With the light PPCs, you could roll, say, six of them, but you only have to hit with four, and you'll get that twenty points of damage. Mm. So it's not half; it's more than half, but. With all those dice going, especially if you roll all seven, only four of them out of seven have to have to hit for you to get a, a PSR up to see if they fall over or not. And sometimes that is a big deal. Mm. You could drop one of the guns and have more heat sinks, and then you'd be That'd be my heat thing. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So what I would do is is keep everything and just see if I could squeeze double heat sinks in there. Well, yeah. yeah. Because that would that would work. Yeah. Um, God. That <laughs> and it'd be the shizzle, yo. Right. So that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. I, I don't mind that gun, actually. That's cool. kind of cool. Actually, I, I think we need one more one more type, don't we? We need one more type. <laughs> snub nose oh, PPCs. The snub nose. Yeah, yeah. I that's just, interesting, that one. Every actually. time I see the snub nose, I think of the, the um, uh, Urban Mech. Every time I see it, I don't know why. I know there's a variant with it, but every time I see it, I just assume Urban Mech. Instead of the AC-10 or something. Yeah, <laughs> they would kick butt on one yeah, of those. Yeah, they probably would. Um, yeah. So your snub nose PPC is generating standard PPC heat, and it's got slightly shorter ranges. So um, it's got a longer short range, right? So you're going 1 to 9 instead of 1 to 6. Yeah. And then you're going 10 to 13 instead of 7 to 12. But then you're going 14 and 15 instead of 13 to 18. Right? So you've got a longer short range, but you've got a shorter range overall. Okay? Wrap your head around that for a second. And then I'll introduce you to variable damage. Variable damage. So you'll see on the chart, which hopefully is still up there, if it's not, bing, uh, under damage value, it's got three values. Um, with the slashes between 10, 8, and 5. And that basically just stands for short, medium, and long range damage value. So at short range, you are doing 10. At medium range, you are doing 8. And at long range, you are doing 5 damage. 10 damage with a short range modifier at 9 hexes. At up to 9 hexes. And that is oh, why nice. I keep thinking of Urban Mechs whenever I see some of those yeah. PPC because... 
in an urban environment where there's lots of cover and lots of short range dueling battles, this thing is insane. And it's also worth pointing out that it doesn't have a minimum range. So you can get right up in people's faces and just, oh yeah, that's good. Ooh, I like that. That is some good stuff. I like that too. Good stuff. <laughs> I don't know how we go for an auction though. You could probably put one on there. So yeah. if someone gets closer to him and just. Yeah, then you haven't got that medium minimum range problem. That's that could be good. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I um, it's it's uh, the ER PPCs don't have a minimum range either. Lights, heavies, and PPCs have, but the heavies and uh, the ERs and the um, snubbers snub don't. Range do not. What's what was the minimum on the li uh, the light? It's still three. It's still three. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I still I still kind of like it. I like a snub nose. The snub nose is, is like, I think that's pretty cool. Barrel damage. That's so good. A nine, for inner sphere, mm. nine hex range and, and 10 damage. Yeah. And the snub nose PPC is only six weight with two. So six tons and two crits. Oh. Um, so it's slightly lighter and slightly smaller than a normal PPC. So if you can get something small and fast, the urban mechs are slow as <laughs> yeah. But you'd be better off getting out and walking half the time. Um, but if you can put that on something small and fast and you can squeeze it in, that is good. Yeah. That is really good. I mean, you'd have to work on your heat dissipation, but I mean, if all you have is a snub nose PPC and a bunch of heat sinks and a really big engine, you can run circles around everything and just at all variant ranges out to 15. Oh. Nice. Nice indeed. Very nice. All right. So what did the clans bring with them? All Let they have, have a look. Uh, there is the ER PPC. That's it. Mm. Uh, that's that's the only one listed. I don't think they do have clan versions of the others. Um, I know that the snub nose and the light was an inner sphere. In yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's the, the only clan PPC that is listed is the ER PPC uh, for... Um, Comparison's sake, it is six tons, two critical locations. It still does 15 heat and 15 damage. Mm. 15 damage. Yeah, 15 heat, 15, 15 damage. 15 heat, 15 damage. So it's a, a heavy PPC equivalent. But it's got ER ranges and it's got clan ER ranges. Yeah. We hate clan. Because <laughs> uh, we want to be yeah. like the clan. We do, yeah, basically. Like secret. So there's no minimum range. You've got 1 to 7, 8 to 14, and then 15 to 23. Okay. So a 23 range. With oh, no minimum. No minimum. Doing 15 damage. 15 points of damage. A head chopper. And I've seen... Yeah, it's a head chopper. I've seen plenty of clan mechs that have ER PPCs on them. And you just... And they have dual... Yeah, PPCs. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what the mech was called, but it's an assault mech, like 95 for the clans, and it has four ER PPCs on it. Doesn't the Daishi have a couple? Yes. But this is this is this is all it has. It has four clan ER PPCs. And wow. it has enough heat that I think if it doesn't move, it, it can fire all four. Them. It's rude. That is just I mean you pay, you pay top B V for it. Yeah. Like you that, yeah, <laughs> mentioned that before. The the more we <laughs> we get excited about them, or I say I hate them, there's the more money and battle value you're paying to put them in your mech. Yeah. But that is just rude. Again, <laughs> the awesome's like, really? Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Because he's he's got his at seven tons and three spaces, and these are six tons and two spaces. And two spaces. So he can fit. Twelve, yeah. So, <laughs> so eighteen. He's he's got a little bit of space left to put some extra heat sinks in, and he's got the same, um, like number of weapons. But he's he's got what fifteen points extra damage output. Basically, yeah. that's just insane. Well, I like choice, Taryn. But if <laughs> my only choice as a clanner is that, <laughs> I'd be okay with it. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to walking in and going, I'd like a PPC. Yeah. And they go, well, this is the only one you're allowed. 
it's super long range. It's really freaking awesome. And yeah, nobody, nobody will stand up against it. I'll take a dozen. Yeah. Give <laughs> you everything you got. Oh dear. The PPCs. I like them. I do like them. They're Especially insane. the Inner Sphere ones. There's some nice little options there. I yep. mean, the clan stuff's the bee's knees, but I tell you what, that's... And that's if you can... Um, I like a lot. Yeah. Like I say, if, if you can um, find yourself something small, fast, with good heat dissipation, that's got a snub PPC on it. Yeah. yeah boom. Go for it. Boom. Put it in an urban environment. Start taking things out. Yeah. But they are... As far as direct fire weapons go, they are pretty much the bomb. Bang for and the buck is the way to go. Yeah. I mean, PPC is the bog standard, but some yeah. of them are doing insane amounts of damage for something that doesn't use ammunition. It, it doesn't... Some of them don't have a minimum range, but they do go out to extremely long ranges compared yeah. to some weapons. And you just... The only thing you have to worry about is the heat. Just quality. Yeah. Serious quality. Ha. Okay. All right. Anything else to add, Taryn? No, I just don't like the fact that that clan ER PPC goes two hexes further than LRMs. <laughs> just no, to cut. step forward. <laughs> come, come out from behind your partial cover and... Yeah, give it a I have to move it. further. I have to just have spotters that are a bit heavier. <laughs> it's all good. All right, all right, so that's PPCs. Thanks for watching. Great. And uh, leave your comments, of course. Yep. And share us around and stuff so let people know we're here and we can keep making more videos. That'd be nice. Do that? Yeah, we can do that. Why not? Yeah. All right, that's it. Bye, guys. Thank you.